It's Big Ryan, the fat guy here, and it's time to talk about why Wendell Smallwood is the new lead back for the Philadelphia Eagles. Smallwood is listed at 5 foot 10, 210 pounds. He ran a 447 in the 40 yard dash at the combine and was a fifth round selection in the 2016 NFL draft, making him a sophomore in his NFL career. So fat guy, why is Smallwood the guy at running back in Philadelphia? Well, the biggest reason, unfortunately, is the injury to future Hall of Famer Darren Sproles. Sproles is believed to have torn his ACL as well as breaking his arm, an unfortunate injury that very well may send him to retirement. Despite the injury being the main reason, it's not like Smallwood is just going to be thrust in this position. Uh, He outsnapped LeGarrette Blunt in Week 2 and wasn't far behind LeGarrette Blunt in Week 1, as well as heavily outsnapping him. 43-22 43-22 to 22 in Week 3 versus the Giants. He was used to spell Sproles because they have similar size and skill set. I mean, no one really has a skill set of Darren Sproles, but Smallwood is a player working towards that. Now, fat guy, snap counts are all fine and dandy, but fantasy is about production. Why should he be worth targeting in fantasy? I will concede that running back production has been pedestrian collectively over the course of the first two weeks, but I believe the Eagles are a team that learns from its mistakes and have found the best way to support their run game. Guard Isaac Samalo got benched in Week 3, by far their most productive game on the ground. Yeah, their backfield racked up 171 yards on the ground, just 5 shy of their passing total as well as 2 scores. They replaced Samalo with first round Titan Chance Wormack, then even rotated him with veteran Steven Wisniewski. Wisniewski proved to be far better suited and cohesive with the rest of the starting line, which definitely catalyzed the run game. With this switch, Smallwood rushed for a solid 5.9 yards per carry, followed by Blunt with 5.6. Blunt is still going to see work on first down, is still more of a TD threat than Smallwood is, so his role really hasn't changed that much with the uh, subtraction of Sproles. According to Frank Reich, the offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles will no doubt have an increased role with the subtraction of Darren Sproles. Another key factor that will limit Blunt's usage, other than the obvious pass game, is game script. In a tough defeat to the undefeated Chiefs, Blunt only saw the field for six snaps. He ironically caught a pass for zero yards during that time. If the Eagles get buried in a game, there's little chance Blunt even sees the field unless they crawl to the first or second yard line. In upcoming games with Denver as well as at Dallas and at Seattle, that isn't out of the realm of possibilities. Final thoughts, fat guy? Smallwood is only owned in 9% of Yahoo leagues and 2.9% of ESPN leagues, so chances are he's available for most of you out there in the ether. Smallwood will get most of the snaps, and the starting running back is tough to get without drafting him. So rush to the wire and acquire Wendell Smallwood. Now earlier you brought up Steven Wisniewski. That's not to be mistaken with uh, Stevie Janowski, another very, very famous uh, Philadelphian. Oh, definitely. Now, fun fact about Stevie Janowski, he doesn't operate motor vehicles while using spirits. That's good to know, and we're Big Ryan the Fat Guy, and that's Wendell Smallwood. As always, thank you for your support. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Big Ryan the Fat Guy.